Video editing is sometimes a very slow and methodical process, but with a few keyboard shortcuts and a bit of organization, you can speed things up and get your projects done faster and more efficiently. Here are five time-saving Premiere Pro tips. If you're working on multiple projects that use a lot of the same assets, you can make it really easy on yourself by creating a project skeleton that contains all of your recurring files, their folders, and a blank Premiere project. Once you've got your skeleton project with all of your folders, projects, and files organized, right-click to compress everything into a single zip file that you open at the start of every project. To streamline your editing, you can tweak default settings to automate more tedious tasks. One is in the Media tab, called Default Media Scaling. Setting it to scale to frame size will automatically take anything you add to your timeline and make it the same scale as your sequence. The other is adjusting the still image duration. By default, images are set to 150 frames, which is usually way longer than you'll typically need. Go to the Timeline tab and set your preferred number of frames. You can save a lot of time in editing by using smaller proxy files during your assembly stage and then replacing or relinking the large files later. This will shorten render times and also minimize any lag when you're moving and trimming clips. In Premiere, select the files you want to convert, right-click and select Create Proxies. Choose a format and destination, then attach the proxies. Once you've gotten done editing, you can then go back and click Reconnect Full Resolution Media. Although Premiere is capable of working with multiple frame rates, aspect ratios, and codecs, doing so can cause your computer to lag or have longer rendering times. The different file types can also result in dropped frames or black bars. So before you start, you should consider conforming all the footage to your preferred settings using Adobe Media Encoder. If you have multiple pieces of one file throughout your timeline, you can use master clip effects to apply everything you do all at once to all the pieces instead of copying and pasting effects to each one individually. Simply open the file in the source monitor or project panel, then do your work. Everything in the timeline will automatically adjust as you go. Since you spend all of your time in the same place while editing, keep it as neat and tidy as you can. Organizing cords, hard drives, and card readers on your desk makes it a nicer working environment. It also never hurts to take a break, even if it's just five minutes to stretch your body or give your eyes a rest before staring at the screen again. If you like this video, you can subscribe to us on YouTube for more tutorials. You can also check out the Pond5 blog for other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com for millions of videos and other assets to use in your next project.